Hey guys, welcome to the channel. In this video, we are going to get this character that we rigged in the last video and pose him. Put him in his position to where he's ready to animate. We're going to fix a couple things that uh, with the weight maps and the weight painting. But basically, we're just going to sit him down, maybe adjust the chair, adjust the laptop and stuff, just to get him ready and posed just like the reference image here. And so with all that said, let's go ahead and get started, guys. And so here we have the file that we just rigged, and here's the rig. And now we're going to pose them. The next step is to pose them and or to animate. We're not going to have all that much animation in the character because I plan to animate the camera. But let's go ahead and pose them. Uh, what I'd like to do first is reveal everything that we've done so far. Here we've got the book, uh, the chair coffee cup desk here is the reference image in the back laptop light and the rig we're not going to do the nameplate the plant and the two stacks of paper on the desk and here's the whole scene in a nutshell guys this is the whole scene so we're just going to sit him down and have his hands reaching up to the laptop like he's typing something like he's watching something on the laptop Kind of like what he is in the reference image. And so the next thing I'd like to do is go ahead and sit him down. And so here we have the rig selected. And I'd like to go to tab, which goes to the edit mode, uh, which is not what we want, actually. We want to go to the pose mode. From the object mode, if you hit um, control tab, you go to the pose mode. Control tab goes back to object mode and pose mode. So if you just hit tab from the object mode, you go to edit mode, which is not what you want. Control tab goes to pose mode. All right, cool. Let's see, let's go ahead and grab the hip joint. I'm gonna go to the side view and let's hit the move tool. I'm gonna sit him down. Just sit him down a little bit right there. And actually, I'm going to sit him down right about there. Move him back a little bit. We want to get him off, off of the table here. And maybe a little higher. Well, I don't know. I think that's about good right there. We also want to grab his feet. Move them up. And push him back. Uh, let me go to the side view and rotate. I'm going to push them back just a little bit further and rotate them. Hit R so that he has his, his uh, feet resting on the chair. I'm going to move them forward a little bit right about there. I like the stance of that. Don't worry about the chair. I know he's going through the chair, but we're going to uh, modify the chair here in a minute. So far, I like it. Uh, and he's looking kind of like what the what the reference image is. Um, so what I'm going to do is he seems to have his feet a little bit like maybe posing a little bit. Push this way a little bit. And I'm just trying to move him side, sideways just a little bit. Um, right about there. And we're going to move his knees out a little bit, make him a little bit more comfortable right about there. I like that stance and now the hands. So I'm going to grab the hands. I know you can't barely see it, but the hand controller is right there. Let's push it down all the way to the table. I know this looks um, a little weird right now but if we push him back go to the top view and then rotate and we can put his hand like that right like that we're gonna grab his elbow and we're gonna move it down a little bit we're gonna cheat a little bit uh, and if you notice guys um, I don't know if you notice look at his um, glasses here we might have to fix that with uh, weight painting Let's go to the front view and I'd like to get that elbow right about where he is right there. And let's 
get that other hand in place. So first, let's put it down right on the table and then this way. And then let's rotate it in the top view, R. And let's put it right about there. <clears throat> let's grab this elbow and let's push it down a little bit and then uh, right about there. So the character is now in position. He is ready to work. He's sitting down. Uh, let's move a couple things. I want to go back to object mode and I want to bring the laptop to him just about right there and then I am going to pose the fingers. So let's go back to pose mode here, control tab, and let's go into the fingers and let's do one at a time. Zoom in, sit scale, select this little handle, hit scale, and I'm just gonna push it down and then I'm going to rotate it up a little, right about there. In fact, I need to move the hand up a little bit more. If we move this hand like this and then up a little right there. And then we could do this finger. We can rotate this finger as much as we want. So the, the next finger, S, to curl it and then R to move it up, rotate it up, right there. Same thing with this, S to curl it just a little bit and then up to move it up and then rotate it. Let's rotate it up a little bit. Same here, and so hit S and then and rotate it and I think that's good I think that's good he he has his hand right there maybe rotate it down a little bit more right there good now he looks like he's ready to type uh, maybe just maybe go in a little bit with this pinky all right let's get the other hand done the other hand, I want to maybe rotate it in this way and then push it up a little bit right there. Just a little bit. And then let's pose the fingers. Work S to curl the finger. And then let's hit the rotate. Let's rotate it up. Right there. S. And then rotate it up. And then this one, S, to curl it. And then rotate it up just slightly. Just we're, I'm, I'm just trying to bend the finger slightly. If we were making them type, uh, we would be, we would be uh, animating uh, the fingers going up and down. Let's do the pinky last. Let's uh, curl it S and rotate it. Let's rotate it up and maybe in a little. We could rotate the thumb just to make him not right where he's touching that laptop right there. All right, so the hand looks okay. The hand looks like he's actually ready to type. And so I think the last thing that we need to do is maybe push him over a little bit. And I'm gonna do that with the hips. I'm gonna select the hip and then I'm gonna push him over just a little bit right there, lean him over. And I think that's it as far as the posing goes. I think we've got him in a very, very good pose. 
he's looking like the reference image maybe move his knees out a little bit more maybe just a little bit more and now since we modeled the chair um, so I, what I'd like to do is fix the chair now to the pose remember as you sit in the chair you move the chair it's not stiff like that so let's go ahead and get that done I'm gonna go back to object mode select the chair and then tab to edit mode and what I'd like to fix first is maybe where he's going to sit so let's go ahead and select everything connected with the bottom part that 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 this this and this I'm hitting L right there this one and this that is all of the bottom part where he sits and so one of the things I'd like to do is maybe scale it in a little bit I think it's a little big and then rotate it rotate it to where it's like down a little bit and then push it and then push it forward in fact I'm gonna push it over a little bit more and then push it down just a little bit more right to there and that's cool that's what I want to do and so the top hit L to select all and then let's move it in place I'm gonna select all of the bottom now let's go ahead and select the bottom hit L to select linked L L L there we go I think that's everything yep I'm gonna move it forward just to center it again here uh, and I think that's it actually let me see the front it's centered I think I'm okay if I select if I deselect the cylinder and I only have the wheels what I'd like to do is just scale them up a bit so they hit the bottom of his shoe hit s and scale them up and then just move them up so that they are right on the floor and if I go to the top view I'd like to also rotate them see right now the wheel is right in between his feet and he's actually has his feet leaning on the wheel so I want to rotate it and I'm gonna do just R to rotate and then rotate them to where I could maybe put his feet right on those wheels and then of course it became off center so you see how he has his foot right on that wheel uh, we just have to fix this one and just push it back a little bit uh, I'm okay with how it's centered I'm just going to scale it up a little bit more move it up a little bit more and then see if it's centered oh, I think it is all right we're looking good guys uh, I think the chair is done I'm gonna hit tab and let me go back to shading mode and one and I think the posing is done it looks very very good I really like how he is posed I think we might have to fix this foot control tab grab this foot and I think we have to move it back a little bit well not really maybe just a little bit up and back see how, he, see how he's leaning his foot on that on the uh, chair and then this one just move it over a little bit There we go. And 
There we go. And as you can see, guys, we pretty much have him posed exactly like the illustration. And I think what we need to finish here is I think the uh, the glasses were moving with the arm. So if I zoom in to the face, I can see that this, his glasses are messed up. So let's go back to object mode, select his glasses, and let's go ahead and hit weight paint. Let's go to the vertex groups and let's find out or, or so if, just by clicking on these you could see which one is the one affecting it which is this one spine six and, and let's go ahead and paint a weight paint of one with a strength of one and see if we can get those back and so we'll, let's just paint the influence of that bone into this into the glasses here we go you could see that something else is influencing it let's paint all the influence here So after we paint this, I notice that this is still messed up a little bit. Uh, and we just have to find whichever. I notice that when we lowered his left arm, the glasses got deformed. So we just have to look for whichever other bone is affecting it. And, and this is the upper arm. So we want to change it to zero and we want to uh, take off all the influence of that bone from the glasses which is what we're doing right now on the right one we just have to look for the right arm you see right arm and then take the influence off the glasses from the upper arm here we go and so that's how you um, adjust the influence by using the weight, weight paint. Let me see if that's it. I think that's it. The glasses look straight. Uh, we don't have any problems with the weights in any other uh, area. And we're good. We have post the character we fixed the, the weight paints on the glasses and we are done guys in the next video we're going to set the scene up we're going to build a background and we're going to light it and set up the camera so that we can start animating this and so guys i hope you like the video if you like the video go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe and i will see you on the next one thank you guys